All right, this is WSX Rampage again with part two for the uh, passkey bypass or the VATS or vehicle anti-theft system bypass. All right, so if you recall from uh, the first video or part one, I was putting um, one together and it had five of the resistors together. That's this one. After I put the, sh um, the sh uh, heat wrap tubing around it and then uh, soldered the uh, stereo wire to it, I took the reading again with the ohm meter and the value actually changed. It actually raised from 3.76 all the way up to 3.82. Um, that kind of made me a little bit nervous and I actually need to make a correction. When I first did this, uh, 3.74, that was my reading. Um, I did a 5% give, give and take um, either way, which came out to 187. So 3,553 to 3,927. I ended up taking a look at another video or some more text. And actually, even though um, the packet here basically said I have a 5% uh, give and take, the text online actually said I have a 2% give and take. So I went with that and said to actually make it a second one. 2% is 74.8. So my actual give and take is 3,665.2 to 3,814.8. All right, so after I put these together, I ended up realizing I didn't probably need as many. So what I did is I used one originally from here, which is 2.2, from this one, which is one, one from uh, this one, which is 0.46, and then two from this one, which is 0.1, so that's actually like more like 0.2. That gave me the higher rating. Obviously, the resistance left level went up for whatever reason after I soldered uh, the, the suckers together. So I ended up actually deciding to go away with that and replace it with a 0.15. So I'm adding 2.2, 0.46, and 0.15 together. Now, after I put it together, my number actually came out to exactly 3.4, sorry, 3.4. 0.74 and it kind of varied a little bit it went up to 3.75 all right so this happened to be the winner and I put this together and this is the neatest way I could put it together actually after that I put the uh, the male and female bullet together went under the dash and go went and did the same under the dash to mate with these two so what we're gonna go ahead and do right now is we're gonna plug this sucker in and pray to God that damn car starts all right Hopefully I don't have to drive the mighty Daewoo anymore. Alrighty. So let's see if I can get... Oh, God, it's so hard to get under here. Alright. So here's the connection. Here's where I cut. Now, just so you know, if you look online, um, some... For whatever reason, it says to actually use the side from the column um, instead of this side over here. It didn't make any sense, so I actually just did it from one of the versions I read, which is basically not the column side. And put the male and female, did it as neat as I could. So let's see if this goes the way it needs to go. So, there you go. That's as neat as I can get it. Let's go ahead and fire this fucker up. Hopefully. No more security light. Hopefully. Hopefully it won't feel like my balls are shrink-wrapped and thrown in a vice from driving the Daewoo. Okay. Booyah, bitches! Tastes so good, make you want to smack your mama. <laughs> oh, 
God. Thank you. All right, guys. So it's official. If you could do this at home, I, if you don't have any of the materials, you're going to end up spending about 45 bucks on the materials. Things like the ohm meter, you're going to need anyway. So, um, for other stuff, so that's about 15 bucks out of there. I spent probably about 10 bucks on the soldering iron. So basically, um, you're looking at about 20 bucks on, on materials if you already have a soldering iron and uh, an ohm meter. Alright guys, um, good luck to anyone who wants to try this and uh, alright, hopefully LS1 Tech mods will make this a sticky because god damn this feels good. <laughs>